Will I cry? Will I leave behind broken and crumbled signs? Hiding all my roads to you. Uh oh. And if I fight, will I come? I was like, ding, 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 ding. I thought it was a really cute meme, and I was like, you know what? Let me actually put that to the test. So I put this liquid lipstick on, and I started eating. And for some reason, I thought I should eat in macro, which actually just looks so gross. Um, so again, I'm sorry about that. Maybe next time I won't eat in macro. <laughs> I would say that the liquid lipstick stayed on pretty good. Even when there was stuff on my lips and I was like licking it off, the crumbs of the pizza or whatever were coming off but the liquid lipstick was not coming off. The only time I noticed um, a lot of smudging was when I ate the chicken wing which smudged a little bit around here and got some transfer on my chin. Initially when I applied the lipstick it wasn't 100% transfer proof which made me a little bit like I touched my finger on my lips and there was a little bit of this red residue, you might still be able to see it, which really freaked me out because I was like, oh shit, I have this video plan and if this is just going to fade like in the first product, then there goes my video. But luckily it really did not fade that much at all. 
I would say that the product transferred like it did on the cap of the water bottle, the straw, even some of the foods that I ate. I wouldn't say it's entirely transfer proof. It will transfer onto whatever you know makes contact with your lips and it will move the actual product around. But the thing that I thought was really, really cool is that even when the liquid lipstick moves around, it kind of stains your lips so it doesn't look like you have that, um, that, you know, butthole lip. Even when I'm talking, it's not that apparent the kind of line where the liquid lipstick ends. I'm pretty sure when I do take this liquid lipstick off, it will have stained my lips. Which is okay because I always take my makeup off with a heavy duty makeup remover and that pretty much always gets rid of these stains. The thing that I found really really cool about this formula though is halfway into I felt like the lipstick had almost entirely faded in this area which is the part that comes most in contact with the food and I thought that my food test wouldn't be reliable anymore because there isn't that much lipstick there anymore. So I reapplied another layer of the liquid lipstick on top of the pre-existing liquid lipstick. Now, if you are a makeup artist or just somebody who really loves liquid lipstick, you know that is a liquid lipstick sin. Matte lipsticks hate being piled on each other. You put one layer of liquid lipstick and you let it dry and you put on another, that shit is going to crumb so fast. It looks gross. It looks patchy. Every time you talk, you can see like the line separating and it's just... It's not a cute look, so whenever I want to reapply liquid lipstick, like I wipe it all off and reapply it. But with this one, when I applied it on top, it kind of didn't do that. Any of that. You know, like this is my lips with one more layer of liquid lipstick applied on top of a pre existing layer, and it feels really comfortable. Initially, the liquid lipstick felt really comfortable. I felt like I was wearing a creamy lipstick or a gloss, but without the stickiness. And even when I applied another layer on top, it felt pretty okay. I don't know how many layers of liquid lipstick I can put on top before it makes me want to die, but so far, two is good, and I don't understand why anyone would put on more than two layers of liquid lipstick. Like I said, the liquid lipstick is not transfer proof. Let me show you here, my hand. There's a lot of transfer, but it's still on. And even though a lot of the lipstick came off on my hand, it didn't smudge around my mouth. It's still there. So it will transfer, but you don't really have to worry about it because it's more or less stayed in place, which is great. Final verdict is, I really like this liquid lipstick. I think it's pretty food safe, and I think I'll be wearing it to a lot of events. You should follow me on my Instagram, which is... So you can see me as I wear two events, and you can see how it lasts throughout the day. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, check out all my other social media, and leave me a comment down below. I really, really hope that you found this video helpful, and yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!